So this week is uh, Celiac Awareness Week and I thought I'd give you a few tips uh, to help GPs to diagnose celiac disease. Uh, the first thing for GPs to be aware of is that it's a lot more common than you think. Uh, the prevalence rates in the UK are around 1 in 100 patients. That goes up if they've got a first degree relative to around 1 in 10. Celiac disease also coexists with a number of other conditions, osteoporosis, autoimmune thyroid disease, type 1 diabetes. So if you see this in your patients, think about disease, celiac disease as a possibility. It often masquerades as irritable bowel syndrome, so very easy to mix them up. So if you think a patient's got irritable bowel, make sure you test them for celiac disease to exclude that. On the subject of testing, um, a patient has to be exposed to gluten for the test to test positive. So if a patient comes to you and they're following a gluten-free diet already, bear in mind that the TTG antibody test may come back negative even though they've got celiac disease. So it's recommended that they follow a gluten-containing diet for at least six weeks prior to testing. That's usually around four slices of bread a day for six weeks. If you've tested and the test comes back positive and you suspect celiac disease, tell the patient to continue on a gluten-containing diet until they've had their endoscopy, because if they follow a gluten-free diet, just as with blood testing, the biopsy results can be negative. So they need to continue having gluten until they've had the endoscopy and the biopsy results back. 